Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I am making this on video. Let's just move it out a bit because we're a bit close. <laughs> right, so I'm making this. This is made out of a 12 by 12 papers. I also show you some other ones I've made on a different, um, not a different thing, but uh, by um, different measurements. So I made this one from an 8x8 eight eight paper and this one by a 4x4. Four four. Not on this video, but this is what I'm I was just showing. I do show a bit more detail on there. And um, this is a different closure to the one I make on the actual video. I think that's probably the same closure as I've used there, or similar. Okay, so this is the closure I'm doing on here. I did refilm this because uh, I originally used some uh, double satin and it did not work. I don't think it's a good idea to use ribbon anyway, from, my, from what I've experienced in this video. Okay, and I'll just show you quickly what you could make as well. This is my prototype. Uh, this is a, it's very similar to one Sandy made, so she made one with a tag there and I put a journal inside you mentioned a five by seven journal so I had to make one so that's what I've made there and there's a couple of pockets both sides there I've made it out of a file folder okay so I thought I'd just quickly show you what you can do as well um, if you want to but I didn't obviously do, do that there's just the envelope on video and a different style to what Sandy did as well. So I thought that'd be quite interesting as well for everyone. And so if you'd like to join me today, please give me a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate it. And anybody who's joined my... Uh, I'll say that. Anybody who's subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. It doesn't cost a penny to subscribe. And uh, I've also got papers with Kofi um, as well. Um, the, the, on, my, on the free bit, just on the page. It's not in a shop. And... Um, so if you'd like to have a look at those as well, I've got the link to Kofi in my description. It currently says, well, it says more on my screen, on the screen. OK, and um, thank you so much. And let's go. OK, so this is what we're making today. OK, um, these are um, different sizes of exactly the same thing. That's the full size. That's. Uh, two thirds of the size, and that's a third of the size of the original, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, it's quite. Um, so I use a 12 by 12 for that, an 8 by 8 for that, and a 4 by 4 for that. So that's very um, interesting. Okay, um, I'm going to make it with this sort of thing today. Okay, see how we get on, but I'm going to make it that size, the large size. Okay, so I'm using a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Oh, actually, uh, was it cardstock? <laughs> 12 by 12 piece of cardstock from the 12 by 12 pad okay so this is the right I don't know I can't tell if this is directional I hope not because um, I'm going to um, hopefully make it as it is yes. <laughs> well I'm hoping it's not direct I'll probably tell later oh yes it was directional but never mind we're going to make it anyway okay so I'm just looking at the measurements right so the measurements are three inches and eight and three quarter inches this is a sandy project so three inches and eight and three quarter inches and you turn it, turn it this way I don't know I think well, it doesn't matter I don't think it matters which way you turn it because we're going to have it both sides two and a quarter here and what is it one two it'd be nine and three quarters here or you can turn it round and do a two and a quarter that way. Okay, let's find a three inch line, which is here. I'm going to move the scoreboard, yes. Find some scissors, are very handy behind me. <laughs> We're going to cut this bit out here. Okay, so we'll do that. And I've got to be careful how I remember. Be careful how I remember, that's good, isn't it? Be careful how I cut that out. I'm going to cut the, I always cut out the whole um, score line. So I don't see any of the score line on the paper behind okay and I'm going to cut ah there might be a little tip in a minute let me just have a look because something happened to my original as I'm hoping won't happen to this right so I cut this one oh I've done that oh it doesn't matter we'll do that in a minute okay right. hold on hold on where's my thing just reminding me I've forgot to um put it on charge that's it. Oh, I love the little bell, it's so cute. Right, so I'm going to actually cut a bit more off this in a minute. I'm just going to do this first. 
and there might be a little tip as well because something happened to my original uh yeah i think we might keep those for something uh, you don't have to use um double-sided paper it's just that this happens to be double-sided single-sided is fine you'll see why in a bit why it is fine okay so i'm going to cut a little way up here so it make, makes a little thing that and then you can decide whether you need to cut a little bit more but this might be enough how much am I cutting off? Let's have a look. If I cut off half an inch, if I start off about half an inch and aim for that corner there. Corner, is it a corner? <laughs> Whatever it is. And then cut off half an inch again and aim for that corner there. Let's have a look. But there is, there is going to be a tip. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did to my other one. And it might have happened to this as well. I'm very, I'm a bit concerned. Right. So don't don't cut them because that's what I did. I want them. <laughs> you cut here, so that's some confusing. So the same thing you cut here, you cut there. Okay, because it's a, there's a reason for that. You'll find out. I was thinking, what am I doing? I'm going to cut the whole um, fold out. So I cut there, and I'm going to cut the other side of it too. Only just very very tiny little bit. I don't think you perhaps might even need to do that really, but. I'm just doing it anyway, like I do. And if you can hear any crunching, it's the dog. It's not me. I'm not crunching anything anywhere else. <laughs> yes, he's eating his biscuits. I took off. Stop, you're all right. What did you do? There's a little, a little wind, a little yelp. And nobody's over there. Not even a cat's over there, so. And this has got attacked by his toy turkey. Looks like a plucked turkey. A turkey or a chicken, that's turkey, I think. There we go. So that's that, right? Okay, so now I'm going to bend this up. Ah, that is that is happening a little bit to this. I'm going to see if we can do our little tip in case it happens to you. You might not, you might, it might not happen to you. You might be so careful that it will never happen to you. I and mean, if you are so careful, it doesn't happen to you. That's amazing. But if you are like me and I get a bit carried away, does that look the right way around? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it won't have to matter now, will it? Because I've done it. Right, yes, I'm going to... Because if you're going to give this as a gift, there might be a little thing you might need, you might want to do. And I did it to this one. OK, I'm not sure how I... Let's have a look. Right, so this is how you unravel that. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's the... Um, I didn't do it to those. I only did it to this. Right, if I put that on there... I'll put that on there afterwards, yes. So I'll show you in a minute what I've done and what I normally do and what I've done with this one as well. And I think it's a little, a good idea. I might, not, um, I might use something tough. Let's see if we've got a bit of paper bag. <laughs> he would laugh at me if he saw what I was, where I was, it's under everything. Right, wait a minute, I need a... Punch. I'm glad I switched the camera off. I was such a palaver there because I had to cut them two in. Need one. <laughs> what I'm going to do is cut them in half. Cut it in half. Okay, like this. Now, you might. This might not happen to you, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> or if um, you know anybody else does it, and you say to them, "Look, I know a tip." Oops, hold on a minute. We need to cut that in half. Okay. So if anybody else does this, you go. Oh, I know a little tip. Get, get a circle like that. Well. It doesn't have to be a circle, but I thought it looked rather cute. Right, okay. First of all, I'm checking to see if that's about the right length. I'm not keen. I don't need to be like that. All I need now is my ruler, which I can't find. I want to know if that's in the middle. Is that in the middle there? I want to dip in the middle, really, don't I? Do you think that's in the middle? Yeah, I think it's about the same, actually. So we're just checking. If you want to cut any more off... Just a couple, don't cut it too far down because obviously you don't want to cut it so it's below this. Or do you want to cut a little bit more off? I don't know. Um, that was half an inch, wasn't it? So from there to, well, actually, was it half an inch? Yeah, it was half an inch, wasn't it? What's I could do three quarters. Let's do a bit more. Let's do three quarters from about there. Okay, and then I'm going to show you that little tip because obviously I was getting carried away. That's the, that's the, that's the. Right, 
Because you're going to give this a bit, because I'm thinking about that. I'll show you in a minute what that is. Well, I should have shown you earlier what that is, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's better, isn't it? Then you've got more of a... I like that. reminds you of a shirt, doesn't it? A nice collar. <laughs> right then, so I'm hoping my glue works because I cannot find my pin. I didn't even put it in the thing and I don't know where my other glue's vanished to. So I have no idea where it is. <laughs> I'm trying to blow through it. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, it, went, ah, it does work now. Right, okay. Well done. It's because I cleaned it out, you know. That's what it is. We'll ignore that. Right, so that goes on there like that. <laughs> well, you wonder what was going on, didn't you? <laughs> right, okay. I don't know. I don't know if I've left that in. If I haven't left it in, thankfully. Right. Okay, so this is my little tip. Now, what I've done here. Right then, so what I normally do now, <laughs> this is what I do every, just about every time, um, is cut it slightly too big, that too much there. I thought, I don't like that. I think I ought to do something about that. So what I'm going to do is put some circles down. It might strengthen it anyway. Semicircles, not circles. So I'm going to put some semicircles here. That's a bit uh, raggy, that one. But it should be. I'll try and use that one on that one. So that's tough. That's nice and strong paper bag there. And a nice and strong glue. Well, I think this is a good idea. If you accidentally cut too far, it might be a good idea to try this on whatever. <laughs> I've got cat fur. It's like floating down from nowhere, that. Right. Put it on there, on the edge there. Okay, oops. So that goes against there. Not worried about it. As long as it stays there like that. And I'm going to do this side. I'm not going to turn it all the way around because it'll, you can't on this desk, I'm afraid. Right, I'm going to cut that straight because it's got. No, it's not half a circle, but never mind. Um, so I'm going to cut the, put that on there. Just a nice tough. And I thought brown went quite well with this, so I'm using brown. I'm hoping it's like I've got it quite even. Let's just check because, oh, I have. <laughs> I was going to say I've got it even. I just realised you have to check it's even as well. I'm going to move it up here a bit. That's not quite in half, is it? It is now. I don't understand what that is. What's that there? Why is that sticking out? Oh, hey, you could perhaps use a <laughs> semicircle. Um, and if you could use another piece, because that was not quite right, is it? Or shall we leave it? Leave well alone. Um, yeah, we'll leave well alone at the moment. Right, okay, so what I've done now, and then I'm going to round the corners on these two. Okay. Round the, yeah, it looks quite nice, doesn't it, like that, actually? It looks part of the design. It's functional as well as good. Okay, normally I use really bright colours, so this is a bit dull for me, but... I did like it, and I'm looking for something that's done, well, hopefully non-directional, I'm not too sure. Right, so what you would do then, this is why you don't, so if you try to fold that, wait a minute, if you had that join, um, you'd cut it down here, you try to fold it up, it sort of like won't do it, and it's, look at it, it's moaning. So what you do is, you have it like that, that's your pocket there. Okay, this is what I mean by non-directional, you can't actually stick other things on here other other papers on here to make that different i don't know why it's quite that's quite nice though isn't it really i wouldn't say it goes with it very well but it's quite nice okay i'm going to do a closure like this one okay this is uh, you can do different things what sandy did was on her she cut that off and this too and made a, a thing there and just stuck that down and then she's got two pockets one facing that way, <clears throat> you can put, well, you can cut, cut it off there and do it, or you can do it for, and one facing that way with a long tag, which is very similar to what I've done here, with a long tag, that's very nice, so you can do that, so she cut that one completely off, and left that one on, and if you look, I've put a different piece of paper on there, so I thought it'd be different, just have it like that, okay, but I'm doing a different closure, so you can do, see, you can do different ones, you don't have to do the one I do, you can do different ones, and I like the way this, this one is. I've just got to remember what to do. Oh, yes. Right, so that pocket would glue down. Let's have a look. I'm not sure what I've done. <laughs> I know I've got a little cute little closure on it. I keep moving it along with my fingers. I don't know why I keep doing that. Right, and um, that's got a thing. Let's have a look at this. That has that got... Oh, no, of course it hasn't. That one stays uh, like it is. But I put a... Um, 
thumb notch in there. Um, let's have a look. Do I do that? Yeah. Um, would that look like it's in the middle if I put that back in there? Yes, because yeah, that's okay. It goes so well. That's the trouble. It's. Oh, I did. A, I put a different piece of paper on there. That's right. So it wouldn't matter if that was a little bit further up this way. If you put a thumb notch, it needs to be not in the... Well, it doesn't matter. You can put it in the middle. Mine's in the middle. But I'm going to do it a little bit further up here. Like that. Because hey, <laughs> it will block. So it'll be blocked off there. Yeah, so that's that. And I'm going to put a circle there for the closure. Okay, that's about right, isn't it? You could probably measure it a bit better than me. I haven't done that brilliantly. Um... I put a different. I might put a different paper on there just for the sake of it. I'm looking around to see what I can put on. What's this one? Would that be too different? That's um, a digital. It's got double, yeah, double-sided, completely different paper. As you can tell, it's a digital. That is <laughs> that's made for that. It's exactly the right size, and it's it does match with se with several different colours actually. So I might glue that on then. Might glue. I'll, I'll say. Why do people say that? I might glue it on. When I'm going to glue it on. That was not intended at all. That's just what I picked out of me. <laughs> and it just happened to match. Okay, let's have a look. So let's put that on there now. As I'm doing. <laughs> As you can see I'm doing. I'm not going to leave that like that. I don't know. Perhaps you could think of a design with that on there. But I'm actually going to take it off. Okay. See how well it fits. I don't know what, what happened there. I don't know how I did that. And I am going to round those corners as well because that's what I did on the other one. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with rounding the corners. Now you don't have to do that. You can change it. You can keep it that if you like the colour. You know what I mean? It's not, um, you know, nothing's in. Oh dear, is this, is this actually going to? Oh, it is. So it's very heavy duty this. It will do both. And it's not hard to do either. Right, okay. So that will go there. I'm going to make a circle. Like I've put it, I've put that circle here to the edge there. I just made a circle and stuck it on and half of it on. And so there. Right. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I could do that with what papers am I using? This, there, yeah, this. Um, yeah, I can do that. And I'm just looking, what I'm doing is looking around for, desperately looking around for something to make the circles from. I've got in my. <laughs> yeah, oh, that. Sat on the floor. Yeah, so I'm not tired of this room. This room is like I'm when I'm trying to get out of this room, I'm tripping over everything. So it's I'm trying to get in the room and tripping over everything too. So it's it's one of those things that I've got to tidy up sooner or later or or, <laughs> or things will be happening that we don't want to happen. Right. So I'm making three thin circles. The reason I'm doing that is because my punch then I don't wear my punch out. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick them together. See if I can remember to do that on fast. See the intrusion of my arm. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do now, stick this down first. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, look. oh I was going to use that bit, one to my mind, it's the same thing. All right, so I'm going to stick this down, down first. Okay, oh yeah, we're going to use that. Oh no. Right, what Sandy did was, and I thought that was a pretty good idea, was cut um, two feet and then we'll put, we'll fold them in half. I'm going to find my little thing. Yeah, so I'm going to cut these three quarters of an inch, if I can, if I can speak. Okay, some little strips. Get three quarters in it, something like that, and then that'll do. Because I'm, look, I'm using the thing that's measurement this side because you can, yeah, because you can. It's quite. Uh, then you can hold that. I mean, it, it sometimes gets in the way, doesn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Just the way it is. Right. If you can see, I've got, I've got a jump. I don't know if you'll see that, but I've got a jumper on over the top of this because I, I was quite cold. So that's why, if you can see, <laughs> yeah, because you don't get no heating in this room. It's very cold in here. Um, okay. But have I done that right? I bet I've done it wrong, haven't I? Lot. I think he's got the heating on actually, but it's it's not reaching here. Right. 
Not even cold today, but never mind. <laughs> right. Right then, I think I've done it now. So what I'm going to do is, this is what um, I think is a good idea, what Sandy did, is she put some little, you know, just to expand the pockets a bit, because it's very tight otherwise. And I'm going to just glue along here. So you put your fold towards the outside of your project. That. And then you would glue. What you do then is glue these, da, 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 da. and just push it, push it up like this. Go, whoa! <laughs> you have to do that noise as well. I don't know if you can. If, if you remember to do that noise, do that noise as well. Whoa! Right, okay. And so we've just put that on there like that. And what I do then is put this on. So that'd be somewhere in the middle. That matches that, doesn't it? it doesn't match that or that really. <laughs> right, okay. So that would be there. That's about right, isn't it? So. Yeah, so about a third of the way down here with glue. So you've got some good strong glue. This is brilliant. I love this glue. It's brilliant. Okay, I might need a bit of a glue cloth on it. It's a bit a bit overzealous there, isn't it? Enthusiastic. So I put it about there. Okay. Oops, hold on. <laughs> it's moving round. We don't want it to move around. We want the glue this side. Okay, it's trying I don't know, it's trying to shift it so I've got things in my nail from earlier, I think. Right, so then you put that under there and that will go. If we're lucky, it will go under there. Come on, under there, that's it. Look, say that will glue now. If it realises to lift up there. So then you've got a little closure thing there. And you can, I'm going to put a little envelope in there in a minute. I've got to work out what size, because the one I used is like one by one and a half, and it was tiny. Here I'm going to put some lined paper, which looks so cute when you open it up. I've just got to find some. Hold on. <laughs> well, so I've got a piece of paper there. Let me just measure it in case you need to know how big it is. Let's have a look. It's one inch, one and three, one and one and seven eighths of an inch, or something like that. By let's have a look. I'm doing it over here. Sorry if you can't see. One, two, three, four, five, and I'd say a quarter, really, nearly, or near, or th uh, three eighths, or something like that. Right. That's about. That's half. That's what fits in there. Yeah. So that's about right. right so now I'm going to glue this. Thanks for the Yeah, having a crafter lunch over here. Yeah, <laughs> like this room, it's total crafter lunch. Right there we go. So let me put that into there again. Right there, so yes, that goes in. So, so you've got a little space there. You've got a little journaling spot there. Yeah, so that's good, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> it's creased it. I'm going to leave that open a minute so it stays. In fact, if you do this, it's because it's it's glue, the glue needs to be distributed yeah so what i'm going to do now while it's open like that is just see how big now i need to need my ruler really now don't i because i want to find out how big i need it so i'm going to make an envelope to, i just measured it without you looking <laughs> two and a half by one and a half okay um i'm not going to make it on camera because there's two reasons one reason is if you haven't got a maker then it's boring isn't it but if you haven't got a maker anyway i've got a little video that's attached to this to every single one of my things so you just cut a piece of cord one and a half by two and a half or just over if you like and um, it shows you how to make them in fact you can make any size envelope you like using that method and I have done before but I'm going to use this this is a mini I don't know why that big black splodge it's I've never cleaned it off oh it's a piece of paint it's paint probably acrylic rather look not acrylic it'll be gouache right one and a half by two and a half I've got to find if you make it's right over obviously I've never done that for ages that wouldn't come off oh dear <laughs> got to find out what sort of what size paper I need I'm not going to do that with that in the way am I look <laughs> right um all right, so that's three and I think wait a minute I'm just cleaned it off with a wipe all right so three and a half by three and a half is the size of the paper that I need let's see if I can uh, find a piece of paper that won't look too well I don't know it'll look fine won't it oh I don't suppose I've got any all right just a minute Oh. okay so what i'm doing now is <laughs> i'm making a closure for it as well so i'm making the same closure i used for the other one much fact i could put it there couldn't i underneath rather than on top 
So I'm making a closure for this. This is what I've done again. I've done it like this. Oh, again, well, I did in the other video earlier. That's what I'm thinking. Right, so I'm doing an um, envelope shape like that. But I'm folding it normally, but leaving one of the side flaps out and folding the other one underneath because it looks neater like that. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to put a... Uh, this is a closure I did. Just a piece of paper. So I'm cutting it a green... So I cut a green strip because <laughs> I thought green would look nice. I'll cut a green strip across from there, see if I can get it in the middle. Okay, like that. Okay, and now I'm going to put a piece of paper across there like a belly band. Like a belly band, I don't know, I don't know if it is a belly band or light one. Um don't have to be thin, does it? Don't have to be as thin as the maybe as fat as you like, like that. So just make sure that I'm just gonna do the ends. Glue the ends, not do the ends, I don't know what that means. I'm going to glue the ends. Okay, I don't know why I've got, I've got a piece, it's just squirted out glue right in the middle there. So let's get, try and get rid of that. <laughs> I think it's trying to sabotage. Yeah. Right, there we go, let's put that on there. This is my envelope maker, so. Not even so sure what size I made it. So that's now a little closure there, yeah. So you a little closure there, that's a different type of, cute little closure, that isn't it? I suppose if I'd rounded the ends, it'd look even cuter. <laughs> That's, I don't know whether. Or should we make it into a point? Let's make that into a little point and that'd look better, wouldn't it? So I'll try and do it the same size both sides. Same size, yeah, same size, yeah. Same size both sides. Like that. There we go. So that's done. Right, and that will fit. That will just come above the crafter lunch. It's okay. Crafter lunch. Craft a lunch alert, and that will go on there. I was looking for some paper actually that reminded me of the papers I make. Well, that's yellow there, so that's yellow. <laughs> but I know that's that's got a similar green there, hasn't it? Let's push that in. I'm going to find the positioning of my thing by putting it there. So that's gone in there. Good job you can't hear my husband singing. If you can hear that buzzing, every time you hear that buzzing, somebody's in the shower. Because that's what happens. The shower buzzes. It's buzzing, it's happy. <laughs> there we go. Right, so that's that. So I've now got a um, thing the other side of that. So closure. What did I do? Oh, do you know what I did? I made some, I made an amazing closure. I'm really pleased with it. Right, did I? Oh, I've just done it for that, haven't I? Right, so I've done that. I'm going to make... Oh, I'm also going to do another circle, the same. So I'm going to do exactly the same for this, but I'm going to do something else. So it's going to have matching circles, so I'm going to put that circle hopefully there, so it looks, it looks uh, fit. I'm not going to use that for the uh, closure. I don't think you'd be able to. Um, one of my harebrained schemes. <laughs> no, don't be like me. Don't think you, you can do things when you can't. Right, OK, um, let's have a look. So I've, made, I've done one of those circles again, and I'm using my inches and inch circle. Inch, yeah, an inch circle. So I'm using the lines of that so I can put a dot in the middle somewhere. Okay, dot in the middle. Yeah. Okay, dot in the middle. That's a new one, isn't it? Right. So I'm going to use this now to I'm just check in that's right. Okay, that's sort of in the middle. So I want to be equal with this circle. <laughs> right, and I want to make it so I have. Um, Yes, it's worked so well on the other one. I don't know if you noticed what I did with the other one. It looked so nice. Put one about there. So I'm making a hole about... Oh, okay, hope it fits there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because if it doesn't fit that far, then... I'm doing it with a three and six inch one. <clears throat> Just seeing if that does look right. I think it does. I'd rather it be level with that. Oh, look, it's just... It will just fit that long. <clears throat> And then I'm putting that, that. I'm going to put an eyelet through it. Okay, it's a silver one. <coughs> oh, like this. Okay. It's getting all. Usually works well anyway. I don't know if it's going to work this time. Well, that won't go through there, so I'm going to push it down until it does. Well, it's gone through the circle. 
the um has it gone through now normally it does normally it does it really well like when i do it like this oh. well that's through anyway so i'm going to try and put this through now it's me struggling you know the struggles is it the struggles real <laughs> yeah I always find it very difficult to put the eyelets in. I always use these eyelets. So. Yeah, it's come through. It has come through, so we're done. That's just me being <clears throat> panicking. Right, so you need to put the long, then you put the um, long bit at the top and the flying sauce a bit underneath. And sort of attack it like that. And right then, what I'm going to try and do now is... Right, so this is a refilm because <laughs> I use this, it's far too thick. And I've, I've only, can I only find white. There's nothing wrong with white, but I can only find white. I've decided that I'm going to make a ribbon closure, ribbon closure, ribbon um, thing. Okay, this is, you can see the struggle I had with the other one. Right, it's best probably not to use ribbon actually on this, although I did it perfectly on the other one. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to take that off, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fasten it again so that will enable me to fasten it the other way, won't it? Right, double knotted, okay, so that's better. So what this is how you close it, it's basically like this. <laughs> Best not to use a ribbon, yeah. Right, and then just twice round, perhaps, and then this around like this. Oop. Okay. Right, there's a different way of closing, obviously. There's different ways of closing. That's perfect, <laughs> like that. Right, this one, oh, not that one. Where's the one? Where's the? Ah, oh, there, there it is. That's a different way of closing. This is um, this is what. Oh, this is a ribbon I wanted to find. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I thought it would go much better with that. But I've no idea where it is. Can't find it. Okay, so what I've done is uh, done an eyelet on there, little thing in an eyelet, and then I've just wound that round like this. And at the end, you've got a little, slightly too long actually, but never mind. Put it at the end, and then that'll slip in one of the pockets. Okay, this is why I wanted to leave that pocket. Should have left that, you know, because I was going to do it like that, but I have done it a different way. So I wish I'd left that pocket open so I can, uh, not open, um, not stuck to the back as it is. Anyway, I thought this is quite a cute little idea, yeah. So you've got that one, which is 12 by 12. This one, which is uh, 8 by 8. Oh, where's my other one? Up there. And this one, which is 4 by 4 paper. And that will fit in there. <laughs> Just have to slide it in. Okay, so then <laughs> you can put it all in there like that. Which I think is rather cute, isn't it? Okay, so then you just fasten it. Okay, right there. Hopefully I've got everything in. It's just that I wanted to. Oh, that was so annoying, that other one. It's double satin, so don't use double satin, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, not for that anyway, not for one of these. Right, and this is my um, one I've got here. Okay, so. This is the one I made previously, and it's got this lovely 5x7 journal inside. Okay, five by seven journal with the fold back pockets. So it's basically a secret type of pocket. You've got a, like a an unusual pocket. So I put something that side and put something in that side. Okay, like a little um, self self belly band. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay. That's made out of uh, sunflower paper. That's twelve by twelve. That's a digital. So I didn't use twelve by twelve. I think I've run out actually. Right, so I've just done it like that. And then I've got, I think I've done that extra. There we go, like that, yeah. And that's a different type of, uh, the same one that Sandy used. This one's the one I'm going to, this is one I made up um, as well. Okay then, so anybody who has, give me a thumbs up, thank you so much. And anybody who has 
subscribed to my channel thank you so much and i've got a um a few papers on kofi as well um let's see if i've got anything that matches it over here oh, yes as this is what's on kofi it's um i've got to this is a 12 by 12 um thing i did on on video and it, i've got four a4s and every single part of that is on kofi okay i can't do 12 by 12 so I can only scan um, A4 at the moment. Okay, right then. So I do hope you like my project. So let's let's say goodbye now. Finally, <laughs> goodbye.